So what are the key differences between soulmate and twin flame? A lot of people always get very confused with this topic. And a lot of people say, I want to attract my twin flame. Yet at the same time, they don't know what that actually means. Like what's actually gonna happen or what to actually look out for, what are the signs? And then some people think, I found my soulmate. And yet at the same time, they feel like, oh, why can't I get along with my soulmate? Or things happen or sometimes, you know, there's all these different things out there where people get these different ideas. So in this video, I wanna clear it all up for you guys so you guys know the differences and how to distinguish them and how to recognize when you are attracting that and what to look out for to actually keep that twin flame actually burning without killing each other beforehand. But before we get into it, show reel, hit it. What's up guys, this is Eric Ho here and in this video we're talking about soulmates and twin flames and the differences and how to recognize everything and how to deal with the situations as well. So first of all, um, when, it, when we talk about soulmates, so this could be possibly a past life um, connection that you were together at one point, you know each other at one point, whether it was a family member at one point. And because you have that bond in the past, when you come into this physical reality, what happens is for some reason you feel this attraction and you can't even figure out what it is. Like they don't have to be particularly good looking or anything. Um, and it could be any age gap between you. And for some reason you just feel very, very connected to a stranger that you see on the street and you're thinking, what is this thing? most likely that will be one of your soulmates. And I'm saying one of your soulmates because you can have multiple soulmates that you meet and encounter within this lifetime. Because certain activities that have happened in past life kind of govern also who you are today, because the vibrations are still existent there, that's why it's highly likely that that attraction will bring two soulmates together in this lifetime. Now, very, very clear thing you need is to understand you need to keep the mind calm. You need to live in the moment, be in every moment to be able to spot these soulmates. Because a lot of the time people are so much in their future, so much in their past with their mind, they are not present in the moment. So it's almost like, I don't know if you've had this moment before. It's like driving down the highway and suddenly a few minutes have gone by, you weren't even there. Then you come back and you're like, oh yeah, I'm driving. So. A lot of the time, people get on with their every, everyday lives like that. They go to work, go home, go to work, go home. Their mind is still at home when they're at work, right? When they're at home, their mind is still at work. So they're not really all there. And if you're not really all there, people can pass you by and you don't even see it, you don't even feel it. So if you are searching for a soulmate right now, it's very important just to be in every moment. Notice the feeling, that intuition feeling, that good feeling, that God feeling, that heart attraction. When you feel it, generally speaking, both usually connect, if both are present at the same time, both connect at the same time, the moment you look at them, you know you're connected, okay? Now, some people say, okay, I wanna attract my twin flame though. I heard twin flame sounds pretty cool, pretty sexy, but actually you need to understand the difference here. Twin flame, if we go deeper on the understanding of it, it is called, it was talking about a divine masculine and a divine feminine that was once upon a time, one, one unit, one energy source that split and divided to go into this lifetime. So what it means is that one you'll find will be called the divine masculine. One will have a stronger energy than the other, the masculine energy and the, and, and the feminine energy. Now, when this happens, what you usually find with twin flames, right, is that if they were to come together as one in this lifetime, you can actually produce crazy, crazy results in life. And what that means is usually these two people, they have a very similar purpose in this lifetime, right? They think alike. And you probably, after I start speaking about this, you probably 
be able to recognize maybe, just maybe, you've actually met your twin flame already. Because what actually happens is when these two come together, usually what they'll find is there's a lot of commonalities. And aside from that, when they see the commonalities, they will feel attracted because they are one. They were one in the first place. And then what actually happens is when they spend time together, usually they piss each other off a lot. And the interesting thing is it's almost like looking in the mirror. It's like seeing all your shit in a different form and it annoys you, it frustrates you. And at the same time, you recognize it's within you. You do similar things and they call you up on your shit just like you're looking into a mirror. And so how does twin flame work together? It takes two of them to actually be on their own path, on their personal development path, to actually be personally developed and awakened to a certain point of awakening before two can actually be together and stay together, right? Let me just um, explain that a little bit for you. Because we arrived in this physical form and we received different physical programming, we have different mindsets, different upbringing, different beliefs based on our past in this physical form. And so if based on those beliefs and how us humans are programmed in this world, we feel that we are dependent on each other. That's why for twin flames to actually work, Self-love for both parties must be practiced to an extent where they feel whole by themselves, entirely whole, meaning they do not depend on the other person to feel happy. But when two people that are whole come together, it's a very, very powerful force. And this, some people, in this modern world can refer to as what they call a power couple. But then a power couple is very hard for two people at that success, at that determination, with that purpose, with that drive to come together as a loving partner unless they are awakened so much and they are both aligned with the awakening. And that's why sometimes attracting a twin flame is exciting. So starting this twin flame relationship is equally as exciting, right? It's like two fires come together and it's like, whoa, it's powerful. But at the same time, in those moments, that's where the clash can happen as well. A lot of different fallouts and arguments, right? They will always feel attracted to each other. It doesn't matter what happens, they're still attracted to each other. It's almost like a love-hate relationship and it's happening, yet at the same time you still want to be with them and you don't know why you're so insane, right? But if two people work on themselves a lot to a point where they become whole by themselves, they become the most powerful power couple out there. I hope this has clarified for you a little more understanding between the differences between a soulmate and a twin flame. If you enjoyed this video or you got anything out of it, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let me know your experiences. What have you met before? You know, have you encountered these experiences before and do you recognize any of this? Also, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's that little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, ciao.